Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, the King of the Universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and everlasting life in our midst. Well, okay, let's start that one over. Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with the commandments, commanded us to grow souls with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, and who sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all our people, Israel. May we know our spring, the offspring of your people, the house, Israel. May we all together know your name and serve your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Bless you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Bless you, Adonai, and you, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, giver of Torah. May Dona bless you and keep watch over you. May Dona make his presence who and on you may be kind to you. May Dona bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today is the first read of Emor or Amor, which is say. Our first read is gonna be Leviticus twenty one one through twenty four twenty three. And Yahweh said to Moses, Speak to the priests and sons of Aaron and say to them, No one shall make himself unclean for the dead among his people except for his closest relatives his mother his father his son his daughter his brother or his virgin sister who is near to him because she had no husband for her he may make himself unclean he shall not make himself unclean as a husband among his people and so profane himself they shall not make bald patches on their heads nor shave off the edges of their beards nor make any cuts on their body they shall be holy to their Elohim and not profane the name of their Elohim. For they offer Yahweh's food offerings, the bread of their Elohim. Therefore they shall be holy. They shall not marry a prostitute or a woman who has been defiled. Neither shall they, be, shall they marry a woman divorced from her husband. For the priest is holy to his Elohim. You shall, you shall sanctify him, for he offers the bread of your Elohim. He shall be holy to you. For I, Yahweh, who sanctify you, am holy. And the daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by whoring, profanes her father. She shall be burned with fire. Oof. Come on, go down. The priest who is chief among his brothers, on those on whose head the anointing oil is poured or has been consecrated to wear the garment, shall not let the hair of his head hang loose, nor tear his clothes. He shall not go in to any dead bodies, nor make himself unclean, for even for his father or for his mother. He shall not go out of the sanctuary, lest he profane the sanctuary of his Elohim. For the consecration of the anointing oil of his Elohim is on him. I am Yahweh. And he shall take a wife in her virginity, a widow, or a divorced woman, or a win woman who has been defiled, or a prostitute, then these he shall not marry, but he shall take as his wife a virgin of his own people, that he may not profane his offspring among his people, for I am Yahweh, who sanctifies him. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, None of your offspring throughout their generations who has a blemish may approach to offer the bread of his El the bread of his Elohim. For no one who has a blemish shall draw near a blind, a man blind or lame, or one who has a mutilated face or a limb too long, or a man who has an injured foot or an injured hand, or a hunchback or a dwarf, or a man who, with a defect in his sight or, or an itching disease or scabs or crushed testicles. No man. W of the offspring of Aaron or the priest who has a blemish shall come near to offer Yahweh's food offering. Since he has a blemish, he shall not come near to offer the bread of, of his Elohim. He may eat the bread of his Elohim, both of the most holy and of the holy things. But he shall not go through the veil or approach the altar, because he has a blemish, that he may not profane my sanctuaries. For I am Yahweh who sanctifies them. So Moses spoke to Aaron and to his sons and to all the people of Israel. And Yahweh spoke to Moses saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons so that they abstain from the holy th 
from the holy things of the people of Israel which they dedicate to me, so that they do not profane my holy name. I am Yahweh. Say to them, If any one of your offspring throughout your generation approaches the holy things that the people of Israel dedicate to Yahweh, while he is a, while he has an unclean list, that person shall be cut off from my presence. I am Yahweh. None of the offspring of Aaron who has a leprous disease or a discharge may eat of the holy things until he is clean. Whoever touches anything that is unclean through contact with the dead with the dead or a man who has an emission of semen and whoever touches a swarming thing by which he may be made unclean or a person from whom he may take unclean, uncleanness Whatever his uncleanness may be, the person who touches such a thing shall be unclean until the evening and shall not eat of the holy things unless he has bathed his body in water. When the sun goes down, he shall be clean, and afterwards he may eat of the holy things, because they are his food. He shall not eat what dies of itself or is torn by beasts, and he shall make and so make himself unclean by it. I am Yahweh. They shall shelter, they shall therefore keep my charge, lest they bear sin for it, and die there, thereby when they profane it. I am Yahweh, who sanctifies them. A lay person shall not eat, eat of a holy thing. No foreign guest of the priest or hired worker shall eat of a holy thing. But if a priest buys a slave as his property for money, the slave may eat of it. And anyone born in his house may eat of his food. If a priest's daughter marries a layman, she shall not eat of the contribution of the holy things. But if the priest's daughter is widowed or divorced or has no children and returns to her father's house, as in her youth, she may eat of her father's food, yet no lay person shall eat of it. <coughs> if anyone eats of a holy thing unintentionally, he shall add the fifth of its value to it. And give the holy thing to the priest. They shall not profane the holy things of the people of Israel, which they contribute to Yahweh, and so cause them to bear iniquity and guilt by eating their holy things. For I am Yahweh who sanctifies them. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons and all the people of Israel, and say to them, When any one of the house of Israel or sojourners in Israel present a burnt offering as his offering for any of their vows or free will offerings that they offer to Yahweh, if it is to be accepted for you, it shall be a male without blemish of the bulls or, or the sheep or the goats. You shall not offer anything that has a blemish, for it will not be acceptable for you. And when anyone offers a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh to fulfill a vow or as a free will offering from the herd or from the flock to be accepted, it must be perfect. There shall be no blemish in it. Animals blind or disabled or mutilated or having discharge or an itch or scabs shall not. You shall not offer to Yahweh or give to Yahweh as a food offering on the altar. You may present a bull or a lamb that has. A part too long or too short for a free will offering, but for a vow offering it cannot be accepted. Any animal that has its testicles bruised or crushed or torn or cut, you shall not offer to Yahweh. You shall not do it within your land. Neither shall you offer as, a, as the bread of your Elohim any such animals gotten from a foreigner, since there is blemish in them because of their mutilation. You, They will not be accepted for you. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, When an ox or sheep or goat is born, it shall remain seven days with his mothers, and from the eighth day on it shall be accepted as a food offering to Yahweh. But you shall not kill an ox or a sheep and her young in one day. When you sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving to Yahweh, you shall sacrifice it so that you may be accepted. It shall be eaten on the same day. You shall leave none of it until morning. I am Yahweh. So you shall keep my commandments and do them. I am Yahweh, and you shall not profane my holy name, that I may sacrifice among the people of Israel. I am Yahweh, who sanctifies you, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your Elohim. I am Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, These are the appointed feasts of Yahweh, that you shall proclaim as holy convocations 
They are my appointed feasts. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. You shall do no work. It is a Sabbath to Yahweh in all your dwelling places. These are appointed feasts of Yahweh, the holy convocations which you shall proclaim at the time appointed for them. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at twilight is Yahweh's Passover, and on the fourteenth day of the month, day of the same month, is the feast of unleavened bread to Yahweh. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but you shall present a food offering to Yahweh. On for seven days. On the seventh day it is a holy convocation. You shall do no ordinary work. And Yahweh spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land that I give you and reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priests, and he shall wave the sheaf before Yahweh so that you may be accepted. On the day after the Sabbath the priests shall wave it. And on the day when you wave the sheaf, you shall offer a male lamb a year old without blemish, as a burnt offering to Yahweh. And the grain offering with it shall be two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, a food offering to Yahweh with a pleasing aroma. And the drink offering with it shall be of wine, a fourth of a hen, and you shall eat neither bread nor grain, parched or fresh, until this same day, until you have brought the offering of your Elohim. It is a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. You shall count seven full weeks from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheep of the wave, weave, uh, sorry, wave offering. You shall count fifty days to the day after the Sabbath. The seventh Sabbath, and you shall present a grain offering of the new grain to Yahweh. Your, you shall bring from your dwelling places two loaves of bread to be waved, made of two tenths of an ephah, and they shall be of fine flour, and they shall be baked with leaven, as first fruits to Yahweh. And you shall present the bread with the bread, seven lambs, a year old without blemish, and one bull from the herd, and two rams, they shall be burnt offering to Yahweh, and with their grain offering, and their drink offering, and food offering, with a pleasing aroma to Yahweh. And you shall offer one male goat for a sin offering, and two male lambs, a year old, as a sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before Yahweh and the two lambs. They shall be made holy to Yahweh. For the priests, and you shall make a proclamation on the same day you shall hold a holy convocation, and you shall not do any work, for it is a statute forever in all your dwelling places throughout your generations. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field right up to its edge, nor shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall observe a day of solemn rest, a memorial, memorial proclamation, proclama a memorial proclaimed with blasts of trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, and you shall present a food offering to Yahweh. And, they sp and Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Now on the tenth day of this, this seventh month is the day of atonement. It shall be for you a time of holy convocation, and you shall afflict yourselves, and present a food offering to Yahweh, and you shall not do any work on that day. For it is a day of atonement, to make atonement for you before Yahweh your Elohim. For Whoever is not afflicted on that day will be cut off from his people, and whoever does any work on that day, that person will... That person I will destroy from among his people. You shall not do any work. It is a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwelling places. There shall be to you a Sabbath of solemn rest, and you shall afflict yourselves. On the ninth day of the month, beginning at evening, from evening to evening, you shall keep your Sabbath. And you all spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, On the fifteenth day of this month, and for seven days is a feast of booths to Yahweh. On the first day you sh 
shall be a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. For seven days you shall present food offerings to Yahweh. On the eighth day you shall hold a holy convocation and present a food offering to Yahweh. It is a solemn assembly. You shall not do any ordinary work. These are the appointed feasts of Yahweh which you shall proclaim as times of holy convocation for presenting the Yahweh food offerings, burnt offerings, and grain offerings, sacrifices, and drink offerings, each on its proper day, besides Yahweh Sabbath, and besides your gifts, and besides all your vow offerings, and besides all your free will offerings which you give to Yahweh. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the pr in the produce of your land, you shall celebrate the feast of Yahweh seven days. On the first day shall be a solemn rest, and on the eighth day shall be a solemn rest, and you shall take on the first day the fruit of splendid trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of leafy trees, willow, and willow of the brook, and you shall rejoice before Yahweh your Elohim seven days, you shall celebrate it as a feast to Yahweh for seven days. In the year it is a statute forever throughout all your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths for seven days. All native Israelites shall dwell in booths. That your generations may know that I made the people of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Thus Moses declared to the people of Israel the appointed feast of Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command the people of Israel to bring it, bring you pour, pure oil from beaten olives for the lamp that I light may be kept burning regularly. Outside the veil of the testimony in the tent of meeting, Aaron shall arrange it from evening to morning before Yahweh regularly. It is a statute forever throughout your generations. Ye shall arrange the lamps on the lamp stand of pure gold before Yahweh regularly. You shall take fine flour and bake twelve loaves from it. Two tenths of an ephah shall be each loaf. And you shall set them in two piles, six in a pile on the table of pure gold before Yahweh. And you shall put pure frankincense on each pile that it may go with the bread as a memorial portion as a food offering to Yahweh. Every Sabbath day Aaron shall arrange it before Yahweh regularly. It is from the people of Israel as a covenant forever. It shall be for Aaron and his sons, and they shall eat it in a holy place, since it is for him a most holy portion out of Yahweh's food offerings, a perpetual due. Now an Israelite's, Israelite woman's son, whose father was an Egyptian, went out from among the people of Israel, and the Isra Israelite woman's son and the man and a man of Israel fought in the camp, and the Israelite's woman's son blasphemed the name and cursed. And they thought, brought him to Moses. His mother's name was Shilamith, the daughter of Dibri, the tribe of the tribe of Dan. And they put him in custody till the will of Yahweh should be clear to them. Then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Bring out of the camp the one who cursed, and let all who hear him lay their hands on his head. And let all the congregation stone him. And speak to the people of Israel, saying, Whoever curses his Elohim shall bear his sin. Whoever blasphemes the name of Elohim shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him, the sojourners as well as native. When he blasphemes the name shall be put to death. Whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. Whoever takes an animal's life shall make good make it good, life for life. If anyone injures his neighbor, as he has done, it shall be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Whatever injury has given a person shall be given to him. Whoever kills an animal shall make it good. And whoever kills a person shall be put to death. You shall have the same rule for the sojourner and for the native. For I am Yahweh your Elohim. So Moses spoke to the people of Israel. And they brought out of the camp the one who had cursed and stoned him with stones. Thus the people of Israel did as as Yahweh commanded Moses. Blessed art thou, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth to serve everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give the Torah of Brukat Adonai, the new Malach Halo, Master Natan, the new Torah, the new Torah, the new Shalom, the Tibet, the new Brukat Adonai, the Tin Hatra. Hope you guys have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.